prochain arrêt, Fribourg. I thought we agreed not to talk every ten minutes. I was worried. You were supposed to arrive two hours ago. Yeah, I just missed the train. You didn't answer your phone. All right. Sorry. I bought a new one. Oh, you bought a new phone. Yeah. Otherwise, I had to pay all these roaming charges during my stay, you know. And you arrived safely. Yeah, just right now. You should have stayed at university. Oh, you want me to mow the lawn? But it looks fine, actually. We want everything to look perfect for the buyers. I'll see what I can do. And when you start packing up, please don't leave boxes everywhere. We want it looking tidy while people are viewing the house. Oh, you worry too much, Amy. That's what your parents always paid me for, sweetie. I'm so sorry I can't be there with you now. You left everything exactly the same. How strange. I told you it wasn't a good idea. You being all by yourself in that big house. All those memories. Oh, come on. I've never taken time to grieve. Even if I cried all the time, they wouldn't come back to life. Now would they? And after all, the house won't sell itself. We could have used a broker. Yeah. I've been away for two years now. And I won't be coming back. This is my last chance to say goodbye. You can't live up a broker like that. Okay guys, I'm back in town and I'm hungry. So this is my official party invitation video. All my neighbors are out of town. So they can brag with who had the most awesome trip or who screwed the hottest Thai girl or whatever. Um, so this will be a night to remember. I'm going through a tough time right now and uh, I'm really looking for some action. Actually. Um, I really hope you come to my party and hope to see you later, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. be fine.
Okay, that's Stay with it until the baby box rocks. Oh, only then, only then, she will accept its baby step. Oh, that was great. Hey, you got it out too. I want to go slow. Yeah, that's what you keep saying. But that's not the Marla singer I know. Hey, I want the crazy party bitch back. Come on. Barbie, it's great to see you again. <laughs> you need to get laid, girl. <laughs> yeah. 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 Really no party? Huh? Hey, let me sexy time. Let me show me she wanted to see. But, you know, maybe you really couldn't read it because he has this reading disorder. We said to him, Tree Bird. Now, Tree Bird was enough. He was like the Tree Bird guy from the road. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, John? Remember? I won't even fuck my image, cool. You were too grim. I know what's part of this. What about fun? Come on. Never mind him. He's always been like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whatever. Just keep an eye on him. I'll be back in soon, okay? The party's downstairs. What's now going on? Hey Barbie, you leaving? Yeah, I'm really sorry, but um I've got a special appointment. I hope you're not angry. <laughs> no. Do you have to introduce me to him? We'll see how it goes first. Yeah. Um, but we'll meet up tomorrow, okay? Yeah, okay, okay. But what's going on in there? Oh, it's just, no. Oh, again, never mind him. Good. Everybody, Toby, come on. Let's take to the next level. Come on. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, come on, sit down. Yeah, sit down, come on. Woo! Hey! Hey, John. I really don't know. Yeah, sit down, sit down. Make some place for our host. Yeah, come on. Come on, great. Okay, you guys. This is the real shit. I got some friends here and there, and they provide me with some cool stuff. Makes you fly high without burning on the stars. You know what I'm saying? Nah, just kidding. Take it, take it. Pass it around. Pass it around. It's very good. What is it exactly? It's just some fly high custom made party rates of real fun for the table. Don't be shy. Come on. Ale. Yeah. What's up, Mala? Don't wanna have the hunter? I think the party just goes. Uh... Yeah. Come on, guys. I will tell your mommy if you want to mine. Yeah, you, you will enjoy it. That's very cool. Three, two, one. Blast off!
Okay, guys, this is going too far. You really should. Where have you brought me? You must be kidding. You don't really expect me to go in there. Okay, Jean, I got it. You had your revenge. You can come out. Patrice, Jordan, you can start laugh now. Come out, you fuckers. This is getting boring. I'm going now.
sorry. I'm really sorry I'm making a fool of you, but this is seriously going too far. Just let me out and we forget about the whole thing.
throwing a big ass party and taking drugs. Sure. You're really, really smart. That way your pictures would improve too. Of course. Every artist takes drugs. And you know. Yes, I'm coming! It's too much. I just don't. I thought it was prepared. But now everything's. I feel miserable. I would think they'll be fine. I thought they'd help me to forget. I just wanted to have a good start. That's all. But it was awful. Only in times of hardship do we find out who our true friends are. I wish you were here. You know it's not possible. But if I were, I'd hold you in my arms and hum the special song to you. You remember that song? Yeah, of course. Hello. I think I'm a little too old for that. As long as you're still asking me for advice, you're not too old. <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. strange, you know? There was this woman sitting in front of me and she watched through my selection over and over again. And then she just said, I'm wondering what's going on in this beautiful young skull. What? <laughs> skull? Yeah, that's what she said. Truth is an ugly yet simple animal. <laughs> you really do have weird ideas. <laughs> You're hilarious. But I have to organize another shooting. Don't you have enough pictures already? Uh, but they want to have more variation. It's, I, I already expected it. It's just, you know, with a house and all, it's, it's gonna be real tight. Yeah, tight is nice, isn't it? <laughs> You're such a slut. Come on. I need some real help. I need a young, handsome, smart guy. Ugh. I'm just thinking. No. I mean, after all the time, he wouldn't dare. Why not Eric? I knew it. Marla, I, you sent him back and remember? Nobody understood you and now you want him as your model. Bad idea. But have you heard from him? Did he talk about me? Um, yeah, I think you really heard him. Maybe you're right. Mm-hmm. 
sorry. Did I wake you up? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's been a long time. So, you all right? You changed your number. I would a new phone. You left some of your clothes here, and um, I want to give them back to you. What are you talking about? Oh, about your shirt, a pair of jeans. Throw them away then, I don't care. I found 50 euro in your pocket. I don't think that you want me to throw that away. Okay, what now? You could drop by tomorrow. Quick and painless. So you remember where I live? Obviously, yes. In fact, with my heart and not with my brain. Oh, very poetic. Come in. I'd like to stay here, thanks. So where's my stuff? Okay, um, bring it. I watched it, I hope it's okay. Congratulations on the exhibit thing. Oh, you heard of it? Won't come again. But it's a shame I have to enjoy it all by myself. Maybe your own fault. Tough luck. Why don't you just let it be? You were completely clear about our situation. On the phone, remember? And then you left the country, just like that. We were together for two years, and you didn't even give me an explanation. Look, there's a reason I called you. 
I'm still missing some cute pictures from an exhibition and for these pictures I need a male model and I asked myself you're kidding I wish I had a choice it's not I'm keen to shoot my ex-boyfriend but you're exactly the type I'm looking for and there are only a few days left so hundred bucks you really thought I would do that why not tough luck huh bye Hey, mother. Yeah, your party was great. Really great. And I hope you enjoyed my gift. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ciao, mother. Ciao, Eric. Ciao. Uh, I just wanted to say, if you stay with me to be a model, I'll do it. Really? That's great. Um, maybe tomorrow? Yeah, why not? See you then. I'm looking forward to it. Bye.
Is it possible that we have a rat problem? I heard something in the world. I don't think so. Maybe a dormouse found its way in. I found a passage behind the walls of my room. You can follow it down to the cellar, it's unbelievable. Yes, don't you remember? When you were little, you used to love playing in there. We always told you not to, because it was so dangerous. Weird. I think there are mouse rabbits. Um, I'll call you later, okay? No way. Hey, Jean, pick up the phone, you fuck. I found your drug stash you left here last Monday. Pentago, remember? Your custom made fly high party accelerator? Maybe you think you're really funny, but I'm really starting to think to talk to the police about this, okay? So you better call me back. Ciao. Ciao. I'm glad you can make it. No wisecracks today? No, I saved it for later. Come in. You look disturbed. Like the band or the adjective? Oh, band, there it was. So, what's the plan? I'm gonna put you in weird poses and take you from all angles. Normally I shoot for myself, as you know, but my masculine body skills are not very good. I remember these pictures. You showed them once. Uh, no, that's impossible. I showed them during my time abroad. Come. At your grandparents? <sighs> Maybe. But now I need some fresh meat. And you thought asking your ex-boyfriend would be a good idea? I thought having seen you naked already made things easier. Cold. The 
the love set up. I don't feel this comfortable. Mm, but you should. So you'd like to play with fire, huh? Mm, I guess so. And your pictures deal with death? Definitely. Then what you really need is a change of scenery. <laughs> what? We need to spice up your shots. This death and fire. Time for a special auto shoot. Come on. Yeah. Direct me hard, Mr. Director. We are free. really about you're way too impatient come on Are you conspiring with Jean? Is this all part of some weird psycho shit? Hey, what the heck are you talking about? I was lately here and I think you know that. This is the place where we first met. Don't you remember? Yeah. Free Boer suicide bridge. That's one hell of an omen. Anyway. I let you here because I had an ulterior motive. This was never about the shoot. I wanted to bring you here so you'd stand exactly where you're standing now. And I would tell you with a smirk on my face to go to hell. Yeah. I wanted to toy with you as you toyed with me. I thought it would be a great way to get a revenge. And guess what? I can't. I hate myself for it. But I'm enjoying this. Reminds me why I fell in love with you back then. So we stand here, huh? I guess his revenge was an epic fail. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable. Just one more step and everything ends. Why should someone do something so awful? And like this. Black are your eyes. Deep is your hole. Spilled are your cries. Black is your soul. I feel sorry for such desperate people. All people are victims, and maybe the world is better off without them. You're still pretty weird. Listen, Eric. I know some things went terribly wrong. The way I treated you, and how I quit our relationship. It's all right. It is? No. But that's what I'm supposed to say, isn't it? Maybe I just needed some time to grow. Or maybe you were just a little bitch. Yeah, maybe. Look, I, I'm so sorry, and it's such a long time now. I think we have different conceptions of a long time. Come on, it's getting late. I don't like this perch at night.
It's really interesting stuff. Mm. Bizarre. Graphic. And quite sexual. I think they're great. Mm. Yeah, thank you. So, what's up with you? It's been a long night. That's all. And a bad start in the day, too. But it's great you're here. Having a picnic was not what I had in my mind, but at least you brought the pictures. Do you know the feeling of being watched by something? Something hostile and... Even if it's not there, you know that it will come back? Sounds like a horror film. Would it be possible for you to spend the night with me? I mean, in the house? <laughs> <laughs> That's a marvelous singer trick, isn't it? Like putting 50 euros in my pocket. No, seriously. I could use some company. I'd like to help you honestly, but I can't. I'm, I'm out of town. Um, maybe you can crush at a friend's place. <sighs> They're all morons, except Barbara. And I don't want to weird her out with some psycho shit. I'm not a doctor, but maybe you're struggling with something from the past. Like me ending our relationship? Maybe. Shit, you know, the pills at my party. Uh, I'm seeing things. I have to go to see a doctor, but right now I just need to get out of here. Yeah, sure, come to my place. But I'm at this party here with some friends. Um, hey, I'll see what I can do, okay? Thank you.
Listen, I really don't want to talk to you right now. You have to. Baba told me about your bullshit problems. She what? I have a story with the police. And I don't need them knocking on my door again just because Mala Singer thinks I'm a drug dealer or whatever. <laughs> Do I care? You passed around Pantago at my party. And then you stored the boxes in my toilet, so just next time think a bit. Yeah, I got your weird ass mailbox message. So you better call me back. And I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. <sighs> Screw you. It was just a joke, Mala. At your party. My stuff would be big surprise. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Everyone knew it, even Barbara. Oh, it's just John again. What are you saying? I passed around some means, that's all. Bullshit. You talked about Pentagon and all that stuff. Just some fly high, just turn my cardiac rates up. I just had a little fun, man. You made up a whole fucking story. <laughs> what? Hey Barbara, I just wanted to say don't wait up for me. There were no drugs, so I've got no problems, right? What's your name? This is Terry. He's the keeper of my secrets. You like him? If you want, we'll take you to our special place. A place where no one can ever find us. Behind the dam and beyond the bridge, through the valley, deep in the woods. It's so peaceful. We have done something very, very bad and we are never coming back.
sister. He's the keeper of my secrets. You like him? We have done something very, very bad. Found your special place again. Finally. I understand why you came here. It, uh, it really is peaceful. I was way too young when you brought me here the first time. I didn't want to betray you. I just didn't understand. I forgot. But in the end, I guess you were way too young too. It must be an endless pain to lose a child. I just uh, I can't imagine. And to be responsible for it. Some things in life can't be undone. You knew that. You paid your dues. And now it's my turn. Your child deserves deliverance. These are some serious accusations. You do realize that? Yes, I do. Pretty hard stuff. Of course, we have to double check everything. A lot of paperwork. You don't believe me? That's just pretty hard stuff. Where did you say your father was? I told you before. My mother and he died in a car accident last year. And uh, he was a doctor at the hospital? Yes, Dr. Singer. My sister-in-law used to be a special. She never told me he died. Everyone cares for themselves, I guess. So, you are studying abroad? Yes. Do you have a matriculation document or some ID you can show us? Uh, yeah, well, of course. But I'll have to look for it. 
Yeah, our house is in good condition. Yeah, our former housekeeper looked after it until my return. Emma Morgan, I told you before. Okay, so years back, your family had financial troubles. That's why your father started stealing prescription drugs from the hospital and selling them to the local drug scene. This doesn't look like a place to store drug at all. One particular addict, the 15-year-old uh, Julia Sommer, uh, got pregnant and bought the painkiller Pentagol from your father to trigger an abortion. Because as a side effect, it opens the uterus. She kept her pregnancy secret. My family can't explain her motivation. But she didn't realize that in her late stage, she was already carrying a fully developed child. How is that even possible? She just ignored it, day after day after day. On the night Summer gave birth, she came to see your father and he helped her by performing the abortion in this very room. He threw the baby's corpse in the trash and Summer got traumatized. In fact, she couldn't get over killing her own baby so she jumped off the bridge just a few days later. And you saw all of this because she took you along, right? Yeah, we became friends, I guess. What's your name? Right way of showing friendship. You repressed these memories over many years, and now they've come back. Is that correct? Yes. That's it, basically. Not the story for the city. But will you make sure that the people are going to know about the child? There will be a press release later. It's just it never had a chance on life, and... I think it deserves some recognition at least. Eric?
I saw you two outside. It seems you didn't even miss me in bed. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but I was just... Why didn't you tell me that you're in love with Barbara? You never asked. You two were together last night, weren't you? When I needed you the most. This is where Barbara fed me to show. It's complicated. Why her? If you just told me, I mean, we broke up, sure, and but why on earth would you keep up this masquerade? I guess we didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, good job. I didn't want things to be this way. No. <clears throat> I'm really sorry, but ever since you called me again, it felt wrong. As if you tried to reanimate a dead body or something. Very poetic. I think it's better if I go now. <clears throat> sorry. Where are you going? We're not done yet. I think we are. Eric. Please wait. Eric, I have to tell you something. I was pregnant. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe I... I was pregnant during our relationship. Maybe? I don't remember there. Uh, my recollection is fragmented. I. You were carrying our child? There are weird images. I, I don't know. What did you do? I don't know. That's not possible. I can't remember. You kept it a secret all this time and now you cannot even remember? I don't even know if it's true. What did you do? Nothing. What did you do to it? I didn't do anything. What did you do to it? Nothing. What did you do to it? Nothing. What did you do to it? What did you do to it? Go away to you! That's why you broke up with me. You didn't want to play happy family, right? No, that's not true. I just wanted... You thought I would be thankful? Hmm? Like every boy who knocks up his girlfriend. No hard times, no hard feelings. It was a favor, right? Please, Eric. I need you so much. Let's forget about the past and start over again. I would feel sorry for you if I just could. Eric, please, don't. Falling in love with you again? Bed wrong? Sending you to help, it's absolutely right. Eric, please, forgive me. I was young stupid, and it's two years now. Please. Two years? Anna, you left me two weeks ago. Before you trip to your grandparents. 
seriously don't remember? What? You really do need help. No, please help me. I can't. I just can't. to call you back. Sorry. <laughs> Eric! You only have time for other people when you need them. Emma, please, not now. I call you back, sorry.
I'm sorry, but that's it. Mala, please. Bye, Eric. Mala, please, I'm begging.